As we promised you on Wednesday, Bill Barnwell is back with a look at this weekend and Monday night's action. You're reading him, you're listening to him, or you just don't know as much about football as you ought to. And Bill, with an eye on Sunday's games, last year Deshaun Watson and, and the Texans went into New England, played a great game, didn't win. Obviously, we know he got hurt not long after that. You're very interested in watching how uh, Bill O'Brien handles Watson this year. In what way? Well, I mean, Scott, you look at their performance last year. They were the best offense in football when Deshaun Watson was starting, but they only went 3-3. Three and three. And I think the reason why and the reason they may be able to take the next step forward this year would be to copy the Philadelphia Eagles. They were the most effective team last year in picking up fourth downs. They converted fourth down more than anybody else in football. Once Nick Foles caught a touchdown pass in the Super Bowl on fourth down, you can't be worried about what's going to happen on fourth <laughs> down anymore. you got to trust your offense and go from there. So I think that's an opportunity for them. Maybe they pull out a game or two that they wouldn't have pulled out last year if they trust the Sean Watson on fourth down. An interesting philosophy, the interesting philosophy there, and you can't be worried, would certainly apply to what Kansas City did. They move on from Alex Smith, and Patrick Mahomes will be their starting quarterback. Using history as your guide, what can we anticipate they might get out of this uh, second-year quarterback? Well, it's always tough to get rid of a Pro Bowl quarterback. Every team wants one of those. But you look at recent history, it's worked out pretty well for the teams who have done it. Three recent examples over the last 15 years or so. Uh, in San Diego, San Diego got rid of Drew Brees, replaced him with Philip Rivers. Drew Brees is pretty good. Philip Rivers is pretty good. Packers moved on from Brett Favre, replaced him with Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers really had not played at all at that point. Obviously, he's been phenomenal. And even Andy Reid has done this. He traded Donovan McNabb after a Pearl Bowl season, replaced him at first with Kevin Cobb. Kevin Cobb got hurt. They brought a Michael Vick off the bench. Michael Vick had a career season. So I think with Andy Reid, he's had so much success with so many different kinds of quarterbacks that I have a lot of faith Patrick Mahomes is going to have an excellent, basically rookie season for Kansas City at quarterback. It is a rookie season for Sam Darnold, who in his very first start under the very bright lights of Monday Night Football gets the call against Detroit. How have rookies typically fared when they've been the guy out there week one? Not great, as it turns <laughs> out. Not really that impressive. When you get a guy coming out of college, really week one where he just is straight out of school, no USFL, no CFL, no sitting on the bench for a year. They're 13 and 34 since 1970. Those guys do not win very frequently. So saw some good stuff from Sam Darnold during the preseason. Season. No reason to think he's not going to be a good quarterback later on in his career. But week one, you're really up against it, especially against the Lions defense that created a lot of takeaways last season.